Hey guys, it's Daisy from Trading Outings and yes, it has been a while that I've posted one but one of my new year's resolutions is to post more and you know lately the weather's been very warm here in Southern California ranging from low 70s to even low 80s which is very beautiful weather but unfortunately for me, I cannot layer as much as I wanted to for the season but hopefully it'll cool off later on. But as of now, here is how I style some of my favorite pieces. So this first look is very monochromatic and I wanted to play around with my printed cardigan from Motex. And adding edge to this outfit, I wore my studded hat from Motex. And I've been very obsessed with this hat lately, so I've been wearing it to almost every outfit. I like that this cardigan is very playful. It has a mixture of different geometric shapes and swirl. Kind of cool that it has an illusion of shades of black. It is very slouchy, so it makes the outfit more casual and it's very comfortable. This top I got a while back on Nasty Gal, but with the twist, it shows a little cutout in the back. To finish with the silver touches, I wore my cube necklace. For that monochromatic look, I matched the top with this skirt from She Inside. These are from eBay, so the quality is not as great. Before I broke into them, the rounded tips actually hurt my toes. So if you were to buy them, I would suggest rounding up half an inch. They can be quite slippery on certain surfaces. Other than that, I love its versatility. This is probably the most comfortable outfit of them all. I think the utility jacket is very essential for the wardrobe because of its versatility and the multiple pockets. It is made of cotton, so it's very light. With the outfit so subtle, I wanted to pop a little bit more with some stripes. I got these shorts on one of the vintage days at Rhodium, and if you want more information about it, I'll have a link in the box below. And simple jewelry for a simple outfit. These boots from Aldo remind me of the Everly's from Jeffrey Campbell, but they're still very comfortable and stylish. This burgundy pleather jacket is perfect for the windy, chillier days. The material of the shirt is actually really soft, and I like how it gives a sporty vibe to the outfit. If you look up close, the black lines are actually made of mesh. I bought these rings at Topshop, but you can find them for a lot cheaper on eBay. I bought this on Black Friday, and honestly, their jeans are the best. The comfort is amazing, and the high-waisted is very flattering on my body. The cutouts caught my eye. They are from Jeffrey Campbell, and on top of that, they were only around $40, I remember, and I felt like I hit the jackpot. After a meeting at the lab, um, Buffalo Exchange happened to be nearby and so I feel like the best finds are the ones when you least expect them. So this is the last look. At work, my coworkers told me that I reminded them of a furry creature. She's a I am pretty sure you have seen this cardigan almost everywhere and I also have this one in cream. It is so cozy! The sleeves of the cardigan is about 3 fourths while the sleeves of the jacket is a little bit longer so I pulled up the cuffs to give a cleaner look. Underneath the layers is a basic white tee from Zara. Tarte Vintage is a very cute boutique in downtown Santa Ana but she also has an online website. Adding edge to the outfit, I wore my acid wash denim from Forever. And I'm surprised that these lasted me for over a year. I've been wearing these non-stop to school, to work, anywhere. And I love how it's so easy to slip in out of these shoes. I hope you guys enjoyed the looks I put together. And I'll see you guys next time. But if you want, you can follow me on my Instagram. I'll put it right here. And I'll put that down below along with my blog and other information. Okay, bye!